Hello and welcome back to my latest SQL Server Quickie. Over the last few SQL Server Quickies I have talked about the various pessimistic and optimistic isolation levels in SQL Server. I know that locking and blocking is a boring topic, therefore I want to talk today about database snapshots. Database snapshots are one of the most essential things that you as a DBA have to know about. They are more or less your life insurance when you deploy database changes into your production database. Before I show you a concrete example of how you can use them, we will switch, as usual, over to the flip chart where I will describe the key idea behind it. I want to show you now on the flip chart how a database snapshot works. Imagine we have our application database, we have here multiple pages of 8 kilobytes, and let's assume that we store some data on those pages. So we have here values A, B, C, D, and so forth, and so on. And in the next step, we create now a snapshot of that database. Initially, that snapshot file, as you can see, is empty, means your database snapshot consumes in your file system no space. And now, when we change a specific page in our original database, SQL Server copies the original page into the snapshot before we change that page in our database. This is a so-called copy before write. Imagine we are changing that second page with the value of B. In that case, SQL Server in the first step copies our original page to the database snapshot. And in the next step, we change that page. The same thing happens when you change other pages. For example, the page with the value of T that case, in the first step, we copy the original page over and in the next step, we can change the page in the database. So we have here a copy before write. In that case, your snapshot contains all the pages how they looked like at the point in time when you when you have created that snapshot. And now it is very, very easy to revert your database back to that snapshot. Means in that case, when you do a revert, SQL Server just copies those original pages back to your database. And as you can see, you can fully recover that database to the point in time when you have created that snapshot. Of course, the snapshot gets more and more or less efficient the more changes you have done in your database because then you have also more original pages in the snapshot file. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio where I want to show how you can recover from a mistake, for example, when you have accidentally deleted a table with database snapshots. In this demonstration, I want to show you how easy it is to recover your database from a database snapshot when you have accidentally deleted a table. I'm working here with the Cordoso Retail TW database, which is a data warehousing database that you can download for free from Microsoft. In the first step, I create a database snapshot by using the traditional create database tsql command. As you can see, I'm using the clause as snapshot of to tell SQL Server that I want to create a database snapshot. For every data file that is part of the database, you also have to define a snapshot file as you can see. Which file extension you use doesn't matter. In my case, I have used SSS for the extension. As we have created the database snapshot, the snapshot shows within Object Explorer. 
Currently, our database snapshot is empty because we haven't yet done any changes in the database on which the snapshot is based. Imagine that you now do some changes in your production database and you accidentally delete a table. Or maybe you perform an update or delete statement and you missed highlighting the work loss. Trust me, it can and sometimes it will happen. In our case, we are just dropping a table. Oops. Without a database snapshot, you are now in troubles. You have to restore your latest full database backup, your latest differential backup, and all subsequent, subsequent transaction log backups to fully recover from this mistake. But with a database snapshot in your hand, your life is quite easy. The snapshot contains all the original pages of the database before we dropped the table accidentally. Therefore, it is very easy to access the dropped table from the database snapshot or even revert to the original database state from the snapshot. You could even now, with a select into statement, copy the data from the database snapshot into your production database without reverting the snapshot. Just think of a database snapshot like your life insurance. It is very, very important. In our case, I now revert the database from the database snapshot. It is a simple restore database command. In this case, SQL Server takes the original unchanged pages from the database snapshot and copies them over to your database. And then your database is again in the same state as when you created your database snapshot. Now you are again able to access the table that you had previously deleted. In this SQL Server quickie, I have introduced database snapshots to you. Database snapshots should be part of the dual set of every TBA. It's your life insurance when something goes wrong. You execute a SQL statement that deletes some data and, oops, you have chosen the wrong SQL Server instance. Instead of a development environment, you have deleted everything in a production database. It can happen and it will happen. I hope that you have enjoyed this SQL Server quickie and I'm already looking forward to welcome you next month. Stay tuned and have fun!